Hey guys, Dr. G Code here. How to cut your 3D models or add your own text. See this model here? It's a mask clip that doesn't need strings. Problem is that it's one model, so if you take it and move it around, both pieces move as one. See how one piece is kind of like floating in the air? Well, anyways, you're going to want to go to Tinkercad.com. It's a basic program. And take that file that you just uh, want to add your text to or cut in half and import it. Just like I'm doing right now. There we go. And... Uh, I love Tankercad. It's a pretty nifty program. It's all web based. You don't have to download nothing. You just log in. Well, okay. So, you're going to want to get the box there and make sure that it's clipped on holes and stretch it right along and cover that. But before we do that, we want to duplicate this model. So make a copy of it and throw the copy over to the side of the work area. Because once we cut this model in half, we're not going to have the other half of the model. So to get the other half of the model, you want to use your second copy you made there and cut the other side out. So now you're going to want to group these items together. Boom. Grouping just takes what you've done and makes molds it into your model so you can't move it around it's basically done so we're going to take the copy we're going to cut the other side off the same way we just did with the box the holy box cover what you want cut it out and then you want to select both models and group them Boom. Now we can move the, this model around. There's two pieces to it instead of one piece. Pretty cool, eh? Now, let's say if I want to add some text, like maybe my logo or, uh, you know, just anything. Website, phone number, where to get more if you run out, you know? So you're going to want to go over to the side of Tinkercad. Yeah, first lay both your models on the bed. You always want to have your models on the bed. So when it is time to print, you don't have to mess around with that in Cura. Go to text and drag that over. And change it to whatever you want. Hmm. I'm going to go bandana because I use these clips to hold my bandana to uh, my, instead of wearing a regular face mask, I wear a bandana. And with these clips, they give me a really good seal. I don't have to tie no knots. I just pull it through the clips and she's good to go. This is one of my most popular prints that I get asked to print for people because they always lose their uh, one half of the clips. So, If you were to sell it, I'd uh, sell them in packs of 10. 10 or 5, you know. I'm not going to tell you a price or anything because that's up to you. If you throw this through the Microsoft 3D object opener, it says this model's worth $15 printed. I would sell four or five of them at $15. So now I'm dragging my text onto there. If you want it raised, use the solid button and if you want to empty click empty 
So I'm just aligning my text onto the model the way I want it and uh, we should be off to the races. Yeah, so what you want to do after you got your text where you want it, it looks good. Look at it from the bottom, the top, the sides. Make sure it's where you want it. Then you want to select your text and your model and group them together to make them one model. See, I'm very, very picky. I'm a perfectionist, so I'm sorry I'm taking so long, but after those are grouped together you want to save each one as a file by itself so because they do have uh, uh, different ways to print them anyways if you like this video like and share and uh, until next time Dr. G code out and I'm going to be printing this on my CR10 plus or uh, maybe the A ANET I don't know yet but you guys will see that because I'm printing a couple off tonight and tomorrow morning I'll probably have the video up tomorrow night adios and have a good day happy 3D printing